All right. Chill out. All right. So you've read the title. You know where I am. Something to do with the Breakfast Club. One of the best movies of the 80s. If not the best. No, Return of the Jedi is probably the best. But here I am at the high school from the Breakfast Club. That's right. It's still here. Now, it's no longer a high school. It's Illinois State Police Headquarters. So it's a little weird being here because I feel like I'm being watched. I don't think I am. I tried to get inside because apparently there's a commemorative plaque inside talking about the Breakfast Club, but I, nobody's answering the door. Knock, knock, Canadian here, can I come in? Nobody's answering. But let me show you the iconic location where they all got dropped off in the morning. You ready? Let's see where they all got dropped off. That's the breakfast club, right there. Come on. Y'all would have been dropped off. Car would have pulled up here. Dropped off right here for their Saturday morning detention. Now what's interesting about this place is it's now uh, state police headquarters. Mm -hmm. yeah. There you go. That's the sound of the police. And in here is where they shot most of it. Now, I believe they used another high school for some of the interiors. Don't quote me on that. Fine, quote me. I think they did, but they shot most of it in here. Now, the library, where the, the most of the film takes place, inside the library, right? They didn't shoot it in the library of the school. They shot it in the gymnasium. They built a library inside the gymnasium. Why wouldn't they just find another school for the interiors with the library suitable? But I guess they wanted a specific look, and they got one. Because, I mean, everybody, think about it right, right in your mind right now. Without me, without me showing you a, a screenshot, think of what it looks like. You know. Here's a screenshot. See? It was what you remembered, right? That inside that library? Uh, yeah, so they built it. I, that's, that's Hollywood, man. That's what they do. That's what they do in Hollywood. Ooh, that feels good. I'm gonna walk like that more often. So, these are the iconic steps from Breakfast Club. Oh, by the way, this is such a nice area of, what is it? Yeah, it's such a nice area that it's in. I've seen three, count it, three, count it, count them, three, Shirtless dads pushing baby carriages in this area. Why you gotta take your shirt off to put, like they're jogging with it. Why you gotta take your shirt off to, to jog with your baby? Why can't you just wear a tank top or like, I don't know, I thought it was kind of weird. Three, like three within like 15 minutes. And I think it's like a thing around here. Who's got the best dad bod who, who can push the baby carriage the fastest? Well, I got a baby at home. Named Slim Shady, the, sh the Shih Tzu. Slim Shady, the Shih Tzu, say that five times fast. And so I thought, well, when I get reunited with my little Slim Shady, I'm going to put him in a baby carriage. I'm going to take my shirt off and run through the streets. See what people think about that. <laughs> people, <laughs> people, why is that skeleton pushing a baby carriage? What's going on over there? Hey, you see that skeleton? You, am I crazy? You see that skeleton? I see a skeleton. Yeah, that's what I would look like, a skeleton pushing baby. And they'd look at the baby, oh, let me see your cute little baby, ah! Because he'd be really hairy. He's really hairy. Anyways, I digress. Baby carriages is half-naked dads running around this town. It's, I don't know. Welcome to Chicago. So, breakfast club, right here. Now, I'm going to show you, well, let's go a little closer to the steps. Hold on. We're getting there. I'm walking in the heat all day. Yeah, I'm wearing a hoodie because I thought it'd be a little chillier at night. Like it's later in the day, it's not. I'm just hot. Here's the steps. And now this is coming from the steps. 
The cars would have been right here, pulling up here, dropping the kids off. There we go. Look how tall I am. I'm telling you, nine feet tall. There you go. Breakfast Club High School. Now, I think I may have mentioned, I came out here like three, four years ago. I took pictures at night, it was dark. But I also went to the field. You know where Judd Nelson walks across? Oh yeah, it's right beside the school. Now, there's no longer like whatever was like the bleachers and all that, that's all gone. And I don't have any screenshots with me to line it up perfectly, but I'm gonna show you the field. And uh, yeah, there's like new housing developments. It's kind of tricky to find it, somewhere over there. But I know where it is, kinda, from, mem from memory. We're gonna find it. And I'm gonna show you the field from Breakfast Club. Oh, remind me to tell you about my friend that watched Breakfast Club every day for a year. Remind me. Oh, good God, look at all those Canadian geese. Let me zoom in for you. Gotta be kidding me. Canadian geese hate me, and I don't care for them. Oh, geese. Why did it have to be geese? Yeah, so here I am. Those geese watching me. Just watching. Oof. I'm Canadian, so I can hate Canadian geese. It's allowed. I've documented well on this channel what Canadian geese have done to me. They torment me. Okay, I can get through this. So, this is where they shot the uh, field scenes. Bender walking across the field. This is the old field. See, there's the high school behind me, which is no longer high school. And this is the field. People think it was shot at a different field, a different high school, but no, it was shot here. Now, for me to line it up exactly, uh, can't really I mean there's not very many landmarks to do it but this is where it was shot but I'll give you a quick little like 360 view of it okay ready Jeez. that remind you about oh yeah but my friend that watched breakfast right thank you but my friend that watched breakfast club every day for a year yeah he watched it on on video we were in junior high back in canada and he said he was going to watch it every day for a year and break the guinness book of world records for watching breakfast club i don't think somebody had already set that record i'm a, I'm a skeptic and a cynic and i was back then and i deal in logic or at least i try to so we asked his mother, has he been watching it every day? She said, yep. We asked his sister, has he been watching it every day? Yep. So this is about 100 days in. He watched it every day. And one day I asked him, I said, who's documenting this, that you're watching it when you finally submit this to the Guinness Book of World Records for a record that doesn't exist that they probably don't even care about? He looked at me and goes, what do you mean? I am. I said, how are you documenting it? He goes, I'm counting. And I said, that's not enough. You need documentation to prove that you've actually done something. You know, well, my mom knows, my sister knows, my dad knows. I said, no, that's, no, you need to prove somehow that you've watched it. You can't just, anybody can set a world record. I set the world record for picking the most clovers once. Yeah, I did. How do I, how, how can I prove it? Well, because I said I'm saying I did. Mm -mm. No word that way. He gave up after 127 views. But he did, that's, I mean, that's not bad. So Guinness, if you're listening, contact that guy, wherever he is. He's probably got bloodshot eyes. He's probably watching it right now. Big ups to you, Jeff. It's definitely a breakfast club kind of day. You don't want to be inside today. No, dad, what about you? You know what it is? 
Chicks can't hold their smoke. That's what it is. It's very peaceful, I'll tell you that. Very quiet. Hmm. How close can I get to these geese? That's too many of them. They outnumber me by like 40 to 1. Who am I kidding? One geese would. One geese? One goose would get me. Ah. All right, well, that's it for Breakfast Club. I hope you enjoyed this little video about the Breakfast Club filming locations. What a great movie. If you haven't seen it for a long time, if you've never seen it, watch it right now. After you watch this, put it on. Stream it, buy it, rent it, whatever. <sighs> Molly Ringwald, Judd Nelson, Emilio Estevez, Ali Sheedy, Anthony Michael Hall, and I believe the principal was Paul Gleason. I think so. Anyways, easy performance as well. Love it. All right, I'm out of here. But of course, first I'm gonna say, ah, peace out. You know the drill. Head up or down? You're looking up? Looking down. Why don't I watch these movies before I come back out? Before I, before I, I have a heart attack.